Hey guys, I wanted to shoot a short video on the products I use when I'm grooming my dogs. I have four schnauzers and in order for me to have four schnauzers, I needed to teach myself how to groom them because grooming them every four to six weeks cost me $45 plus tip. So for four dogs, that would be about $200 every month, month and a half. So I had to learn how to groom them real quick. So the first thing I do before grooming my dogs is I give them a bath. I always groom them when they're clean. It's so much easier. Um, and then I blow dry them. I don't have a special blow dryer. I just use my, my hair blow dryer on low and I keep the blow dryer uh, away from them and I keep my hand there so I can see if it's getting hot. Um, and I use these different brushes um, while I'm blow drying them. This one's great. It's the short like wired needles uh, for getting out mats and um, uh, problem areas on the fur. And then I have this one. It's kind of like a short plastic bristles, but they're kind of wide. They're separated. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. It's got some dog hair in there too. This is good. I use this on their beards and stuff just to smooth it down. And then I just got a regular brush for brushing their body and floofing up the leg hair and stuff. And then I just use a regular comb that came with, uh, it's a plastic comb, comes uh, with my clipper set, um, my old clipper set that I got from Walmart, which I upgraded, I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is good for getting their beard too and getting things to lay down and around their eye when you're trimming around their eye. Um, I also have a pair of uh, thinning shears. This is great when you don't want a straight across, uh, across cut. And for thinning out their beard, um, you can see it, I can't, it has like little notches in the blade. And this is great like at the top of the nose, around the face and the beard, thinning it out so it's not so floofy. And then I have a pair of just regular straight scissors. I do want to get a pair of longer ones um, soon. These work great. These came with my old clipper set too and they, they've worked perfect. Then I have a pair of nail trimmers. I like this pair because, let's see here, it has a little piece on the back for the hole. That way when you're putting the toenail in, you're not going too far. It stops it. The back piece stops it so you don't clip too much nail off. I don't usually use it because I know I've trimmed my nail, uh, dog's nails so much I know uh, where to clip on their nails. But for people who are beginning, this would be great. This helped me a lot uh, not to go too far on their nail. And then a little nail file, doggy nail file. Uh, in case their nails are a little too rough, you can file them down. And then I have this stuff called Quick Blood Stopper. Never had to use it. Knock on wood. Um, I've never cut down and got the quick of the nail. But this will help um, stop the bleeding if you do uh, cut too far on the nail. Um, it's good to have on hand just in case. Then, like I was seeing, I had a pair of clippers uh, from Walmart that I purchased, which worked good. They weren't they weren't bad at all. But I noticed after about six groomings, the blade was already dull. Um, just it got loud. It started vibrating in my hand a lot. Um, so I spent the money and got this Andis Ultra Edge um, clipper from PetSmart. It cost me one hundred and seventy five dollars. But for one grooming for all my dogs, if I took them out, it would be about $200. So this paid for itself just one time if I took them to get uh, groomed by a professional. I use the number 10 blade. Oh, light there. That's the only blade I ever use for their body, um, their sides, uh, around their face. Um, I hand cut their legs, um, but that's the only blade. I use for the whole grooming process and this clipper is nice once I use this I thought why didn't I buy this in the first place 
because I was try thought I was trying to save money, but in the long run, I wasn't. And this will probably last me, uh, maybe having to get a new blade, maybe, but this will probably last me their whole lifetime. Uh, my oldest is almost three. My other two are two, and my youngest is one. And then for your clipper, you're going to also want to want a cool lube. Uh, this is called Cool Air. It's by Andis. I'm sorry, Cool Care by Andis. Um, this, if your blade gets too hot, um, you spray this on, it cools it down. I give my dogs breaks when I'm grooming them. So I'll spray this on and cool the blade down. It's really good. And then I use the Andis Clipper Oil. Um, after I uh, groom all my dogs, clean the blade really good, get all the hair out, and then put this clipper oil on. And I let it run about one minute to get the oil in there good. And that keeps your blade nice. So that's everything I use when I'm grooming. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please subscribe to my channel um, if you haven't already. And have a good day.